What's going on, folks? It's Thursday. We got the, another Forza trial to try and have some fun with. Got dirt racing again. It's fantastic. It's always good to see. This week, the trial we're going to help you win is called Christmas Barbecue. It's a dirt racing event limited to A class cars from Australia. Now, the car I decided to go with is a 1977 Holden Toronto A9X, and I made my own tune for it. I'll show it on screen right now. It is called Aussie Rally. This car fucking rips. It's fantastic. It's good in pretty much every category. It's it's great. It's a great car. You can see I put in uh, some pretty good times and pretty much dominate. Like you know, it's it's great. You're gonna love this car if you use it. Um, I don't think there's really very many cars to choose from, let alone cars I would recommend. I mean, other than the Toronto. Um, the HQ Monero GTS 350 is okay. I tried messing with it, but it understeers so much. It's a big pig. It's it's an okay choice if you don't want to use a Toronto. Toronto. I keep saying Toronto. It's Toronto. Sorry. And the prize car, the 96 HSB GTSR, is actually a decent choice. Um, but I do recommend the 77 Toronto. I think you're going to have a fun time winning with this car, and you're going to get that nice 96 GTSR. It's a pretty pretty snazzy vehicle. Um, you get uh, two trail races, and you have a circuit race, which opens a trial event here. Uh, it's it's fun. This is actually a very fun event. I love dirt racing. I think A-class dirt racing is probably, in my opinion, the best, most fun thing you can do in this game. I love it. I think it's great. <clears throat> my team ended up, most of them ended up quitting. There was only a couple of them. I think it was one guy left at the end, which is kind of funny, but I mean, alright. It's fine. We still won. The less people in there, the easier it is to win. Um, yeah, I see a lot of people are using loaner cars, or you, like they're using the stock, like Gen F, which is not a good idea. Even the tune Gen F isn't very good for this. I mean, it's okay, just acceleration's not fast enough for my liking, so I don't really... It's okay, I guess. I don't... It'd be better for more high-speed tracks than like the technical ones with a lot of hairpin turns and stuff like you're going to encounter in this event. So I, I can't recommend the Gen F, even though a lot of people are either using the stock one or they're trying to find a tuned one. I haven't really come across very many people using the Tirana, or I haven't seen anybody use the Monero at all. And I definitely would not recommend the Sandman panel van, or the Malou, or the... I mean the, the VL Commodore, I wouldn't really recommend that either. You're going to want to use the Tirana the Monero or the GTSR if you already have that. Which I don't know if you can even get it without winning this event. I think it's actually a new car. So it might even be worth uh, winning this event and then trying it again with GTSR just to have some fun. Because like I said, this is one of the more fun trial events we've had. It's pretty cool though, season 30. They're adding uh, some decent stuff. This go around is always nice. Um, like I said, this is just a blast. I really had fun doing this uh, doing this event. Hopefully you guys can win the GTSR and not have any issues. I mean, they're, they're going to be a handful of tunes for the Tirana. Like, like I said, mine is good. Aussie Rally, it's a good tune. But there, there's other ones, I'm sure, that can be competitive. You can make this one pretty competitive yourself if you decide to make your own tune. I would recommend... Like, I will... Uh, go ahead and go to my settings. Like, what I do for dirt racing in particular. Well, usually, pretty much every different racing in here, whether it's dirt, whether it's road, whether it's cross country, I like to make my cars try to oversteer. Nope. So this car does understeer a touch, even with all that stuff I've done to it, but I like that for the anti-roll bars, for the springs, and the damping, I like to have the rear stiffer than the, than the front. I like to have the front a little softer and the rear a little stiffer. Makes your car oversteer a little more. So there's some, some tips if you want to go uh, make your own tune for this. Also for dirt, I like to have the ride height about in the middle. Preferably, it really just depends on the car. Like right now, I have 9 on the front, 8 on the rear. So I like to have it roughly in the middle. But yeah, if you guys want some tips, I'd, I would go with uh, make your anti-roll bars, make them softer in the front, stiffer in the rear, same for the springs, and same for the damping. And you, you can kind of kind of tune it to your liking. I, even with the car being able to oversteer now, I do like to use a lot of e-brake as you'll see, especially in like the second and third races, like around those hairpin turns. I 
I like I like using the e-brake. It makes the car get around a little easier, and you don't really lose as much momentum. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys win this event. Let me know down in the comments what car worked for you. If, if you used the Tirana, if you used my uh, Tirana, Tirana, whatever. If you guys used my tune, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you guys have fun with this. It's almost Christmas. I'll see you guys for one more trial event before Christmas. So, um, anyway, have fun this week. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time.